Hi Snooker fans, Curtis is both here for DafferSnooker.com and with the stylish Liam Highfield after his 4-0 victory over Sean O'Sullivan in the first round of the Riga Masters qualifiers. Liam, how are you pal? Yeah, I'm good thanks mate, yeah. Good man, new season, a positive start. Um, scored well again today, you've been in impressive form last season and you've kicked off this season in the same light. Yeah, I was, um, you know, I didn't take too much of a break after the world. In fact, I practiced the night I got back from the Crucible, which is... Wow. Quite, you know, rare for me, I suppose. <laughs> but, um, yeah, carried on. I worked on a few things. Um, I've been back running back in the gym. I ran a half marathon. So, um, yeah, I just, I just continued to work hard. So, sure enough, there, I think, I, I, think I, I felt quite sharp. I mean, you played really well getting to the Crucible um, last season. Came and stuck at the Crucible against Mark Allen. But obviously, Mark Allen's a tough, tough player to beat. But you showed yourself in good light there. Made some great breaks there as well. I mean, how did you find the Crucible? How was the atmosphere for you? To be honest, it was really. Like a bit surreal, obviously. Walking out there at first, it was like, you know, it felt a bit funny. But as I settled into the match, I actually, it was probably one of the most comfortable places I've ever played because, you know, it just felt small and compact. And I find it quite hard playing here in Preston because it's like such a big arena and, it's, you know, we don't, we don't get many through the door. So it's, it's a bit of a struggle sometimes if you're not, you know, there's no inspiration coming from anywhere. All right, Paolo, moving on to the new season as we started to, that's an impressive win today. I mean, what's your thoughts on this season, aims, goals, like, how are you feeling about going into this new season? Yeah, just, you know, continue where I, last year I really, like, obviously come back from illness and, and just try to enjoy myself, enjoy my snooker, and I didn't really, I did work hard on the table, but I didn't do everything, you know, off the table that, I, that I'd done in previous years, although I had a good season. So this year I think it's about refocus and um, getting any, everything on and off the table you know, uh, as near as perfect as I can and you know, I think I think I could win a ranking event this year. That's that's like a sort of a dream goal if you like, but I just concentrate on one match at a time. I mean absolutely pal, I mean not only us at DaffaSnooker.com but a lot in the snooker fraternity actually think that ranking event is well within your grasp. I mean you've got a lot of talent, superb queue in action, you score well as well, so there's a lot of areas there which you excel in and it wouldn't be a surprise to anybody if you went deep in a tournament and actually won one. And like you said, you showed last year getting to the crucible, you had some eye catching performances against some good players in the UK last year as well. Yeah. So you must be feeling within yourself that it's really not far away before you before you yeah, actually manage to get your hands on one. Gotta keep pushing the standards so high that um I don't think you can take you know, too, you can't be too down after a loss because everyone's playing well, especially maybe not so much now at the start of the season because people have had two months off, but as it gets into it, you know, you just, everyone's so <laughs> sharp, you know, but um, you just got to concentrate on your own game and, and like foot to the pedal and keep, just keep smashing them in, I suppose. Absolutely, mate. Did you manage to catch the England game last night? Yeah, I did, yeah. As soon as it was over, I went back to the hotel because I was playing there this morning, but... Um, had that been another day, I think it'd been part A. <laughs> it's a couple of days off now before the World Open for you, pal. What's the plan between now and then? Yeah, I'll be back to practice. Um, did a couple of sessions in the gym. Um, started to do like strength and conditioning, so that's that's been good because I had a bit of a struggle with my neck last year. Um, yeah, so just more of the same. Um, head down, just just carry on. Great stuff, pal. Well, look, Liam, I'll let you go and relax and chill. I've obviously got your mum up here with you and you want to get out that, get out that gear because it's so warm. But look, very, very well done today. Yeah. And Sean O'Sullivan and um, all the best in the World Open, pal. Cheers, thank you. Cheers, mate.